Howdy everybody, welcome to the show in Alabama, where today we're at the Barber Creek Shooting Academy. My name is Keith Warren, and I've been to this academy once before. I went through level one, and I was blown away with how much it improved my shooting ability. Well, on today's show, we're back at Barber Creek, and we're going to be joining up with some folks that it's their first time to go through level two, and you're going to see how these folks kind of transition from being good shots to being great shots. So you come to Barber Creek, and there's a whole crew out here, but there's two primary people that you're going to see. I'm James Engelman at Barber Creek Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. I'm the COO, Chief Operating Officer, and partner with Mark Simpson, who owns it. He's the CEO. My name is Mark Simpson. I'm the owner and CEO of Barber Creek Long Range Shooting School. When I met James, and I learned how to really shoot way out, I wanted to teach it to everybody. This class is for everybody. I don't care if you've been shooting for two years. I don't care if you've been shooting for 60 years. You really need to come to this course. The information we provide, regardless of your skill set, is going to help you. James is a master teacher as far as uh, teaching and instructing people how to become expert long distance shooters. My background is I grew up in the military. I joined in 1989 and I've been a sniper in the military for 26 years. I'm a retired first sergeant or a master sergeant E8. James and I teamed up and now we've got, in my opinion, one of the greatest long range shooting schools and that's what we do. We teach you how to shoot. Barber Creek is not only a shooting school, it's a place that you can come and enjoy yourself. We have lodging, phenomenal food, steak dinners. We call it the Barber Creek Experience. And I'm guaranteeing you're going to learn something. So come out to Barber Creek and see us. Mark and James have been together a long time. And they both love shooting long distance. But Mark really likes to hunt a lot. So that was the first year that I've ever taken with Mark. And uh, it was very fulfilling to be able to take all that knowledge that I got out of level one and be able to knock that doe down. And I've really enjoyed this hunt so far. And I got another deer tag. Mark and I are gonna be sitting out on that same green field, hoping that a doe gives us a shot. So the conditions tonight are really nice. There's a light breeze, which is gonna make it a challenge shooting, which is what we want. We want it to be a challenge. And hopefully they'll start moving in here before it gets too dark to have a good camera light. What we're hoping for is a nice big mature doe or an old mature buck. So we've got our fingers crossed and see if we can make it happen. What are you really hoping for? A nap. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get one. <laughs> All we need is a customer. This is what they'll teach you at Barber Creek, how to actually get your rifle set up for a good hunt to make a good ethical shot. You notice I got it on a set of sticks up here in the front and I've got a little stick in the back. So when you do this, you've got the rest up front, the rest in the back, and I mean, it's like a bench rest. Okay, we've got a five mile an hour wind right now. We've got a big group of does that popped out over here. Well, they all throw their heads up like they're seeing something over there. I just do not see what they're looking at. Could be a hey, we got a customer. Where? Right straight ahead. Okay. Dial eight minutes. Eight minutes? Eight minutes. That one stopped. Oh, there's another one. There were three last night, I remember. There's another one. I gotta go the one the underneath the tree. On the right side? On the right, right side, yep. Quarter minute left. Dead right there. Dead as last Saturday's grits, baby. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> Look, they're all still out there. That is absolutely amazing. I mean, I said earlier that when you have when you have training and the right gear, and you're in a place like this, literally, you own the field and anything in it. All right, well, this is exactly what we're looking for. I mean, this I'm betting she's four or five years old. What do you think? I believe she is. That's a, that's a very nice doe. It's a yeah. big doe, big, big mature, mature doe. Big mature doe, and that's exactly what we're looking for. You know, we wound up, uh, we got in the stand early before anything was on the field, and we wound up, we had, uh, uh, I guess, a dozen deer come out. Yeah. Uh, every time you pull the trigger, uh, you know, you're going to make a management decision. So we sit there and look at animals a long time to make sure we're going to pick the right animal. So anyway, we got the right animal down, and uh, how far a shot was that? 
452. So I mean, you know, that's that's a that's a long shot for a lot of people. But yep. when you come to Barber Creek, that's really not that long of a shot. I mean, it's a. I'll put it this way. When the guys go through the level one course and the shooters, when they show up, I mean, most people have never shot over 200 to 300 yards. And after two days at level one, they're shooting a golf ball at a thousand yards. Then you look at it and they say 400 yards, 500 yards is a chip shot. And, and I know that sounds amazing, but <laughs> this place is amazing. And the knowledge that you can gain from coming to a good quality shooting school with a good quality instructor like James. All right, so if somebody wants more information about coming out here to the Barber Creek Shooting School outside of Eufaula, Alabama, give them a phone number. Air code 334-845-0000. And you can check them out online. They've got tons of videos online, and we've uh, released tons of videos from Barber Creek. So make sure you check them out. Give them a holler, and uh, right now we're going to get this girl back and get her taken care of. And Great shot, partner. Thank you. You're welcome. I got a good coach. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of different shooting schools around the country, but there's only one Barber Creek. You know, these shooting schools are all gonna tell you, oh, we can teach you how to shoot long distance, and that very well may be the case, but I don't think they're gonna teach you with the level of knowledge that you're gonna get when you come to Barber Creek. Plus, the big thing that you get when you come to Barber Creek is the camaraderie. This is like the greatest place on earth to be able to make a new friend in the outdoor industry. Where else better than to spend time with folks that all have like minds, all want to get better at shooting and do so in such a beautiful setting with some wonderful instructors, but it's the camaraderie that puts it over the top for me. Another guy that's at level two is my old friend Tim McQuarter. My name is Tim McQuarter. I'm from Camilla, Georgia. I'm a rifle smith and uh, I'm here to shoot the level two course at Barber Creek Shooting School. Tim. Uh is known for building some unbelievable rifles. He's uh, been a gunsmith for basically his entire life. He built me some guns and they work real well. But Tim and I go way back, way, way back. He's a good guy and I'm excited to spend some time with him. All right, so this is the beginning of level two and uh, really super excited about it. This morning we had a nice breakfast and we got to know everybody. And uh, this is the group that's going to be going through level two. Every one of these people has been through level one, including myself. And in order to qualify or be uh, eligible to come to level two, you've got to go to level one first. And if you don't, you'll be lost. All right, so what we're going to do on this level two is today is only a half a day of class. And then we're going to spend the next day and a half out on the level two property. So we're only going to get two lanes today. Um, Hopefully, I hope is not a method in my world, but hopefully it'll sprinkle because I really want you guys to shoot in rain angle. The average person that comes to Barber Creek is just like you and I. You can have anybody from a person that works every day, 40 hours a week and saves up to come to our course, or we'll have a billionaire come to the course. It doesn't matter. The average person that comes here is going to learn everything the same. It doesn't matter where you come from. Basically, this shows you the calibers that are out there right now and how much wind deflection they have. Now, this is 3,000 feet above sea level. Uh, James is, has been great as far as I'm concerned. Not only is he a good instructor, he's a good friend of mine as well, but he, he is very knowledgeable. He uh, gives us great info. It's very understandable. The animal automatically put it at the bottom third. That way you're naturally looking in the center of your spotting scope at Max Ord. We're taking a break right now. I'll tell you, this is a, it kind of, it's like going to school, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's hard. <laughs> it's interesting. So let's pretend the wind's coming from your nine o'clock. My name is Leon. I'm from Cedar City, Utah and I'm excited to be here. Well, when I first met James, he's definitely army and he's got the haircut to prove it. But when it comes down to patience and being able to explain himself, this guy knows what he's talking about. He can help me out with questions. That is definitely James Engelman. Here's the battle plan. We're gonna break right now. I gotta go to work, clean guns, get everything ready. And then you guys go have lunch. I will meet you up there with the van and then we're going to start shooting on the middle lane and get you guys used to running the gear. So level two is different than level one in uh, several different ways, but the biggest way that it's different is that uh, it's on a different piece of property. It's nearby, 
It's hilly and wooded and got some little clear cuts in it. And you're gonna be shooting underneath these little pavilions they have built to kind of keep the sun off of you and the rain off of you. And uh, you're gonna be in simulated hunting situations and you're gonna have life-size targets out there at different distances and you're gonna be able to air them out. All right, this is the first station at the uh, level two course. We just got here and he's explaining to everybody what we're gonna be doing. Apparently today we're gonna shoot two different stations. So there's four targets over here and four targets at the other station. After this orientation, we're gonna get started. My suggestion is when we start, you start on the left animal, okay? From this tree right here, these set of pine trees, to that pine tree right there is your left and right limits. There's four animals out there. They ain't that far. The furthest target here is around five or 600 something yards, right? But it's a great time to get used to running the gear, right? The spotting scope spotters. If I was gonna range that target, I'd take the spotting scope and I'd drop it down and either turn it sideways and give yourself a really good rest to range the target. And I, and I just got it, so. Now you can tell the wind's kind of coming from about, what, one, two o'clock from what we're shooting at. So it, even though it's a fast wind, it ain't gonna be that bad. Group. So what I'd like you to do is figure out who's the first four shooters and then the first four spotters. And we're gonna try to get the wind while the shooters get set up. We're gonna program the rangefinder for the correct wind. I don't know if we got Mirage, my guess is we do. Uh, if not, I brought a wind meter and hopefully some of you guys brought a wind meter too, just in case. If you didn't, I got one. All right, so this guy right here, this is Tim McCorder. Okay, Tim and I go, Way back. Way back. <laughs> Way Too back. far back. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be Tim's spotter. He's going to be my shooter. So we're going to get set up, and uh, it's a team deal, so. Go to shooting. There you go. That's the plan. I guess I need to get the binoculars, and you need yep. to kind of get set up. We'll get to work. A yep. little bit low. There you go. Nice. Tim, tell me when. Send it. You're 3 o'clock, just outside the circle. One of the nice things about this course is we're developing shooting positions that we can actually use in the field. That has been beneficial. Perfect. Beautiful. So the, the whole course is more than I really expected. I think this is great. But it has certainly helped me, and I intend to have a great time today and learn some more. Perfect. Oh, yeah. What's so cool about this, it really is like you're hunting. Yep. Uh, because you've got, I mean, you're all set up and also conditions. Look at that shot. valley we're shooting across. Yeah. So the very next target we're going to is an elk. So I need you to find it, spotters. All right, the, the elk is just to the left of that fork in the road. Yep. He's facing right. Okay, let's shoot it at what it says. Trust your gear. 10 point Watch your level. And 1.25. Dead elk. Woo, nice. Yep, there you go. When you guys get comfortable, you hear that, Tim? Give yeah. me three shots on the bear. 1.8.9. Yep. Win. Do it. Oh, that was so sweet. Nailed it. I see could see trace. the bullet just go trace. <laughs> Remember to watch Trace stare just above the animal's back. You'll see it better. Far right. There it is. Perfect. Junior shotting, huh? That's good. I mean, perfect. Coming to this level two class has built my confidence. I felt like I was really good out to about 800 yards. Barber Creek's made my skill level go from here to here. Nice, we're done with this one. We're gonna rotate shooters. The cool thing about level two is that every person that is in level two has already gone through level one. But the difference is you're gonna apply what you learn in a real hunting scenario. <laughs> All right, now, now, this is a uh, this concludes shooting out of the first uh, station at level two, and it was so cool. I mean, we got different conditions, different wind, different holds, uh, and it's really a team. I mean, team effort. But I'm telling you, this is some kind of fun. It really is as close to hunting as you can get without actually having to buy a hunting license and go. So this station is going to be a simulated hunting blind. So if you're a whitetail hunter, pay attention. James is going to show us how to do it. Okay, when hunting out of a shooting blind, the best way to make a really good shot is number one is have some kind of soft material between the rifle stock and your blind window because you don't want hard surface to hard surface. And use some sort of rear support. In this case, I'm going to use trigger sticks. And I'm going to put it on the stock and I can slide it back and forth for minor adjustments. 
So if I was getting ready to shoot at the target, I'll get on the target, lift up the trigger stick, get close, and then I'll slide it back and forth. And this makes a really good solid support because if you don't have a rear support when you shoot, it drops in the back and causes vertical high shots at long range. Okay, so a lot of folks don't realize they can shoot in the rain and basically because the bullet is supersonic, it has a pressure cell coming off the tip, it moves the rain out of the way. So as long as your projectile is supersonic, which is hunting distances, you can shoot in the rain. We're gonna take the angle of the rain, we can see it through a spotting scope, and it's gonna give us the wind speed. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start at about 400 yards. We're gonna shoot in the rain and show you that it's an easy shot. Wind is left to right, and the angle is about like this. So you're looking at about a five mile an hour left to right wind. So you're gonna give it about three quarter minute left wind. Three quarter minute left wind. Perfect. Perfect. We like to shoot, so we started hunting when Mason was like three and four quail hunting with me. And then we started shooting larger game, so we came here to learn to shoot 15, 1600 yard shots. So it's really neat to have the family, it's something all the family enjoy together, and um, we really have a good time. You're doing really good there, that was nice. Oh! Hey, I watch the high road every week religiously and I'm gonna get to shoot with Keith today. So I've got to show that boy from Texas how it's done in Utah. Perfect. Perfect. Now I'd probably hold a half minute right. <laughs> I'm liking it because I actually made the wind call and it was right that time. The thing that gets me, you think that the crosshairs are straight up and down you and you, you could swear it. You watch the level bubble and you're off. I mean, if you don't pay attention to that, I promise you in long distance, you're gonna miss your shot. Oh yeah. Dead. Keith ended up shooting very well. We had a great time. That's one of the nice things about coming to take these courses is you meet new people, you get to know them, you become friends. There's a lot of banter, a lot of fun times, a lot of kidding, a lot of joking, but everybody's willing to help each other, do whatever we need to do to, to get a guy on target. It, it, it's so much fun and so valuable. I don't see how you cannot take this course. You guys gotta find that deer. A white tail that's hidden in the trees. Okay, this is the third station of level two. Only a nine mile an hour wind. That is a long ways out there. Yeah, you're at 3.2 seconds of flight time. Three seconds of flight time. Keith's in the middle of truing this 6.5 Creedmoor and he's gonna hit it first shot. Hit! Yeah! He hit it! Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it! You seen it? I saw it! So this is just an unbelievable experience. And if you want to experience it for yourself firsthand, get a hold of Barber Creek. Now you can go online, you can check out their website. Literally, they've got more videos on there you can count. And they're very instructional. They'll help you all they can, but I guarantee you, your confidence level is going to be way up high. Oh, it was great. This was Wasn't it good? Oh, my Golly. This is just like gotta, the best. Yeah, we got to do it again. Yeah, we do. I want to go to level three. Well, what is that? I don't know. We'll, fi figure we'll figure it out. It out. We'll, it's been good. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.